Yeah, that's good enough. What's up, MS Evers? Happy Monday! And it's gonna be a happy one, right? We're gonna have a happy week. We're gonna start out on the right foot today. We're gonna make things happen in a positive and constructive manner. And we're not gonna be upset at all over Marvel Strike Force or the bumblings coming out of Boundless, are we? Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna keep it happy no. after no. the not debacles from this weekend. Planet. Uh, let's just say hello and get the ball rolling here. What's up, Oella? What's up, Burnsy? What's up, Ravarn? What's up, Saini? What's up, Stream Farer? What's up, Ultimate Glorier? What's up, Sean Woody? What's up, Lucky Chief? What's up, Lanche? General Thad, Strategist, Omega Red. What's up, ZKG? What's up, I'm Nacho Hero? What's up, Juicy Pathfinder Gaming? What's up, Shane West? Fets Vengeance? What's up, Benny Westside? Dom Dell? Ricochet Ghost? What's up, Vega? Mostly Lurking? Yeah, that's about everybody, I think. Okay, how y'all doing? <clears throat> so, uh, obviously a lot of people upset over the limits that were put on the gambit raids we got all excited because finally we got comped for their screw up and it was wonderful and everybody was happy it was rainbows and unicorns oh it was wonderful we were farting and it smelled like roses it was amazing and then they limited us and now it's going to cost us even more had they not done anything at all and that sucks and that really sucks so we're just gonna look the other way. We're gonna ignore it. We're just gonna have to move on, I guess. I'm actually fine with a new limit. If they hadn't made any mistakes, we'd be in the same boat, pretty much. Actually, that's not true, Ravarn. If they hadn't made any mistakes, we'd be able to make it a lot further than we can make it right now. That's, that's the worst part of it, is that when they went to fix it, they made it so much better, and then they made it so much worse. So it was you just really dragging us back and forth. Drops. You said you were going to give me better drop. Yeah, good singing for Pathfinder, huh? I'm glad I got that in there. Anniversary officially butchered. You had two nicknames in the Navy. It was Ricochet and Ghost. Well, thank you for your service. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Remember that one night we slept comfortably? <laughs> uh, before playing the game. Ah, that's right. Here, let's get in and get some of these challenges done. Uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if the music is too high or too low. I do have my audio working, so I can change that. See, look at that. Down and back up again. I'm awesome like that. Uh, no lemons today, by the way. No lemons today. This song ain't pumpy, peppy enough for me. Let's go. But you know what? Let's just do, um, let's do this one. There we go. That one should be better. Good on the music, okay, we're good, all right. Uh, I don't have a whole ton of stuff to do today. I gotta cut up some picks for, uh, I gotta cut up some picks for defense up, and then that's about it, really. It's kind of a, a slow day. I was up till one in the morning, burning the midnight oil last night, trying to cut up some a video for Sons of the Forest. I had a brutally long stream because it did not go as planned and it made a two hour cut I had to trim down into a 17 minute video and for those of you who have ever edited like fully edited a video you know how brutal that is. Oh, this, you know what, Juicy? The weird thing was after Friday's stream, I had to go, Friday's my big run day. It's when I usually do a four or five mile run. I was up for a four mile run on Friday. I was a little nervous about it. Ended up doing just fine. But later that night, I kind of had like an upset stomach, but it wasn't bad, honestly. Like, I think, I think Raw was getting all worried over nothing. I probably could have gone a little harder into that bag of lemons, but we, I mean... We ate all the lemons, so there wasn't really anything to do but switch to limes and more grapefruit, but I think you guys kind of got your fill. Um, 
totaled out 81 gifted subs for Friday's stream. So thank you, everybody. That was incredible. However, don't expect me to do that kind of stuff again. I'll do something like that for charity. I'll do something like that for somebody else's stream. You know, I'll help a, a new streamer out to get going. But um, yeah, that whole, hey, kick me in the nuts for five bucks kind of thing doesn't really sit well with me. It was fun, though. Made for a fun stream. Go check out the recap if you haven't seen that. Oh, yeah. There's there's the clips right there in chat. ZKG's got it in chat. I need one more unique piece for Phantom X to get to G16. So it seems like I'll have him there by the six-year anniversary. Just keep refreshing those stores, Domdell. It's not like you need the, key, the, the cores for any of these events or anything like that. You know, blow all your gold orbs while you're at it, building up your characters. Because it's not like they do currency events or anything. That would be stupid. That would be totally no fun at all if they did currency events instead of gameplay events. Who would ever want to play a game like that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I got to bring run on, huh? <laughs> Well, you know how like uh, like Purple Sticky was on Taco Shooter's Happy Hour one time and just started eating doggy treats for an hour and a half? You know, stuff like that. I, I mean, I'm not going to eat dog treats, obviously, but what I'm saying is, is that uh, I, I, I'd be happy to sacrifice my dignity for somebody else. It's just I don't need to do it for this stream. I'd rather get on... Get there on merit and skill alone. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about Marvel Strike Force. I'm talking about my ability to actually project a stream that people would want to come to. Finished my coffee, and I've got the Red Bull open, but that's as far as I've got. Let's, um... She's... Wow, this is not... Every time I play this match, man, it goes differently than the last time. How did I just get to go twice in a row? That doesn't make any sense to me. I just don't get the timing on this anymore. Oh my goodness, they just wiped out half my team. Um, yeah, I don't even want to... Yeah, let's quit. I don't even want to. Don't even want to try. Yeah, isn't that nice that I show up to ZKG stream for every orb opening video? I love, I love that you were able to get me to travel back in time to when I didn't have a beard for this latest one. That was great. Cool. I appreciate that one. <laughs> That's okay. Mobile Gamer did a goal, uh, Red Star Orb opening video, and the title, I read the title, and it was just something like, uh, Seed Theory's Real, I Know It, or something, I, and it just made me laugh, you know, how, how he just really leans into the bullshit like that, you know, because he's obviously being sarcastic, but I, I, it was funny, it made me laugh, the title, I didn't watch the video, so I don't even know what he pulled, but, um... Yeah, if you want me to skip a video, just put Red Star Orb opening on the title. Don't worry, I won't watch it. I'm done with that crap. Difficulty 9, baby, let's go! Alright, I want to do some Difficulty 9 action. What are we doing? We're on Difficulty 9. Ooh, I'm excited. Look at how excited I am. Gambit Raid, I'm, uh, somebody took my lane. Somebody took my lane! Are you fucking kidding me? You jerk face weenie heads, who took my lane? Look at that. Uh, Logan, you're just mad because you had to change your name because our strike team lost. Logan Jambui over there used to be Logan's Heroes. He had to change his name because we came in second or third place in a race. You know how you do alliance races inside, you know, because we got to make our own fun. So we were racing to see who could uh, finish Doom 3 first. And we didn't get it that day. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in here and try a different lane, I guess. Uh, wait, we got six out of eight. I wonder who we're missing. Uh, I just, I hope I'm not taking somebody else's lane here, but I don't want these to get left behind, so let's go knock them out and see what happens. I've never done difficulty nine on Gambit Raids. 
seed thing is real, huh, Blake? You, you think so? You think so? See, I studied statistics in college, and so I'm almost certain it's not real. It's not to say that it isn't. It's not to say that there isn't some funny business going on behind the scenes, that they don't push and nerf different drop rates for different people and different levels of spending or what you've recently purchased or whatnot. That is a totally legitimate argument to make. I just think it's bullshit. Okay, we don't have to worry about who we put in here because I've already maxed out everything. Only thing is if I could get uh, Nick Fury in here at gear tier 16. I could put him in here and get that Invaders one, but I'm not really gonna push for it. Let's get you out of here. Let's just see what we got for this. Let's go you and Gambit's fun. I like Archangel and Magneto to cause some blindage. We'll put Beast in there for the double taps. Actually, let's get rid of Gambit. We'll throw in 99 so we got cover opening up early. Oops, ran out of time. One more time from the top, here we go. That's the team I want. We're gonna hit the sim button and see if this works. The diamond lane is the only tough one. I think I'm in spades right now, I think. Boom, that worked. Let's try it again. Oh, whole different lineup here. Uh, I want you and you for the energy. We'll keep Gambit in there. Looks like we're running kind of a, like a, a dark hold with her. Let's see if it works. Scopely, I believe, does mess with drop rates, but I think it's false that players can manipulate the drop rates. Okay, now we're gonna get back over to my lane because I don't wanna take other people's lanes. Now we're in clubs. Who's, who's what, what was lane is the, is the tough lane? I didn't, the diamond lane is the tough one? Okay. So we're in here, this is the same one, we're gonna do it again. What's up, Rolf Karen? I'm feeling great. The lemons didn't hardly bother me at all. I had a little bit of a tummy ache Friday night, but I was able to do everything I wanted to do. Um, and then we get to the last lane, and here's what we do just for fun, just for funsies. We don't hit the sim button. I go in for one. I want to make sure that the sim button is not locked in. And then we hit this a couple of times just to fill up those anomaly detected. Gray three, anomaly detected, huh? I guess I gave him too much shit in the recap about their raid screw-ups. They're not gonna let me play the raid game, huh? Gouda morning to you too, Gouda. <laughs> oh. Last piece you need for Apocalypse. Seems, to, yeah, right? Isn't that weird when you just need those last two shards for a character? When you just need that last uh, piece of gear for a character? It just never seems to drop in there. That one, that one I do wonder. I wonder, it's like, hey look, they're nearing the end, let's squeeze them for a few more rolls of the dice. You've seen that anomaly a bunch also? Well, I just wanna make sure that my raid is set the right way because I don't want to accidentally go in there not thinking and click on it and have it sim because we're leaving the last node open for those people who want to use rebirth characters in there once they get them built up. So I make sure that this is here happening the way it needs to go. Jump in there manually and then lose out. I need four more Osmium pieces for Gambit G17. It's been weeks and I finally got one today. Three more months till I finally get him to G17. It is getting pretty brutal. And remember, 18's around the corner. 18's around the corner, so they'll probably rush that through a bit. You'll probably see an uptick. Well, not anytime soon. They'll probably release the gear tier 18 first, wait a couple of months, and then they'll open up the 17's. They're gonna let the Krakens cracking out a bit and hold the rest of us back from getting the 17s and 18s that we need to progress and let the big dogs play. I'm okay with that. That's how it works, you know? I need an uptick in gold before an uptick in 17s. I'm with you, Benny. I am absolutely 100% with you. I need gold more than anything. The gold is killing me. I've needed seven pieces of one Gamma Gear piece and it hasn't been in my store for months. Go, go, go! Yay, victory! 
Uh, we're out of energy there. Uh, what? Where am I at in Doom here? Oh, yay! We're in Bio. Check this out. Watch what I did. I got one of my Rebirth up to 17. Look at... Oh, he's still really low in stars, so he's still way down there. But check that out. He's gear tier 16 right there. Yeah. And if only... If only they would have let me get to the end of this, I could have put another star on him, and I was so excited about it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get all sweaty backing in and loading in and loading out of that last node, and I'm going to get more, more stars on him, and I was super happy about that. Nope, he's going to be stuck at three stars forever. Anyway, let's sim this and see what happens. Yay, Rebirth made it. We got through just barely. Just barely, but it happened. Gonna have to keep building that Rebirth team so I can keep hitting that Sim button. All right, let's go back and find out what else uh, Run7 has yet to do. I think we're still waiting on this a few more minutes, right? Yeah, four more minutes, okay. When I was the last... When I was the last time they act when was the last time they actually gave us more gold? I think 2021. It feels like they've been reducing the gold. I'm not sure on the numbers, but it sure feels like they've been reducing it. Your shortage is training mats. It's always training mats or gold are the two. Get the fuck off my screen. Uh, it's always training mats or gold. Can't remember if I'm gonna need this or not. I don't think so. 41 looks good to me. Probably gonna need some of this though, I bet. Omega Red, resubscribe for one month at tier one. You're freaking amazing, Omega Red. Thank you for that. Uh, I don't see anybody here on the list that is up and coming. Wow, long list of people who need this, but nobody that I uh, up and coming to spend that kind of kill a Skrilla on it. Uh, Cajun Orbs, we gotta open these, get my Gambit up to speed. Oh wait, he's already maxed out, I forgot. Oh well, there's still some goodies in there that's okay. Not terrible, at least there's some stuff in it, right? Yeah, we're gonna cover Cosmic Crucible today, Pathfinder. I can get to it real fast. In fact, uh, let's jump over there and do that. I'm gonna go through real quick and get there. Uh, I got some Blitz Orbs, I'm saving those for a rainy day. Need this... Uh, Nico's already maxed. Don't have anything there. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there. What's over here? Nothing I can afford. And then red stars and stuff. Ooh, look at you. I'll take one of you for sure. Here we go. Not that it's gonna do me any good. He doesn't have the yellows, but I got tons of silver promotion credits, so it's not a big deal. Let's grab this and this. And let's get over to it. Uh, Pathfinder, I'm going to drop my music down and jump into the voice channel if you want to. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, I just read a message in, in Discord. I put, I put a video... I put a video up for, for Scopely to consider social sharing, which was today's recap, which was basically bagging on them and telling everybody that there's lots of other good games to go play. I know they're not going to share that video, obviously. I just like sticking it to them because it, it, kind of, it kind of pisses me off. The shenanigans, man. So I, I've been getting pretty spicy lately. Uh, let's go into the stream channel. Oh, Pathfinder is already there. What's up, Path Daddy? How you doing? Hello? Hey, how you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> happy Monday. Yeah, happy Monday to you too, buddy. Uh, let me check. What are we doing today? We're doing Shane West, and Shane West is, is ready to talk to us about his, his cuts. Shane, I do see you in the lobby. I will drag you in as soon as that conversation begins. I'm going to let Pathfinder, Zero Cool Gamer, and Benny Westside talk to me about the weekend events while I cut up these photos. So do you guys, how do you guys feel about the, the weekend? Um, you know, uh, the, the pros and cons, and is there a possible, is there any good to, this, to, to what happened? Anybody can just jump in on that one. I don't care. 
Go ahead, Pathfinder. We haven't heard your voice in a good fucking minute. We need to yeah, hear we're voice. yeah. Pathfinder's been gone a lot lately. Oh, uh, okay. Um, all right. Pro. Um, we don't have to worry about Gambit raid energy ever again. <laughs> um, well, the next time they run it, aren't they going to zero it out though? No, I, I don't think they would. Really? They didn't the last time. So I mean, what would make them do it again? Right. Um. Let's see. Uh, the con would be that they made the event uh, slightly worse than it was originally. Um, I, know, I was looking at Juicy's math. It looked it looked um, like two milestones worse, if not maybe three milestones worse. Yeah, I mean, slightly worse, right? <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, I just I just don't really care anymore. Uh, like, um, you know, if. Uh, if the game gets better, then great. I'm all for it. If the game stops, uh, if the game doesn't get any better, then eventually I'll just stop playing. So whatever. Yeah. Lord of the Rings is on its way out. Um, I, I watched Tana's video on the metrics and he looked at all the publicly accessible stuff on the metrics. And it was a little disheartening to see that Marvel Strike Force is basically still making as much money as it ever has it's it's very, very slowly going down, but I'm wondering if those metrics are they're squeezing the high end a lot more and the player base is shrinking and eventually they're going to run out and you will see that taper off. But so far, it's a, almost a plateau. And so I don't see them making any drastic changes anytime soon. Benny, what do you think about what's been going on? Um, well, just on, the, on that note before. Uh, when, when you said the, about the metrics, did you see offer review yesterday? I watched it on YouTube and mobile gamer talked about his like TCP. And even though his TCP is growing, his TCP rank falls back. Falls so back. he's saying yep. there's new and, and the player base in. was, he was saying, and the player base was shrinking a little bit. The overall player base appears yeah. to be shrinking, but his TCP is being passed up, meaning they're getting new whales to take the place of the ones that are leaving. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you, as Pathfinder said, and as you reiterated, like the, I, I don't think the game is dying, um, but it's just not going in a favorable way for us. Right. Uh, the weekend events for me, as I said, Friday night, they could have rested comfortably. We rested comfortably. People were happy. They had a big win, right? Yeah, huge uh, win. The player base was fantastic about it. They were at, from where the milestones were previously set. They were basically giving us away the last two. You could still get to the to the third to last one, but they were giving us the last two uh, for for free, which gave you the fifty five shards of Agent <clears throat> Venom and a whole bunch of those uh, two point five uh, ions but or whatever. Let me put it this way. Like, open that milestone. Is it even a whole bunch? Is 250k or even 400k uh, T5 ions going to break anyone's, you know, game economy? It, it's not even enough to equip two pieces. Or, sorry, it's only enough to equip two piece, two level 5 ions to a character. Like, it's not... It's right. nothing that would have broken the game. I don't know why they thought that that was too generous they should have just let everybody have it it's it's not it's nothing honestly it's like a, a handful of gear 17 pieces right and enough for two crystals yeah and and, and to add to that point real quick uh we were celebrating having to spend arguably hours resetting raid nodes yeah like that's yeah. what we were celebrating i started doing that at oh. first and i was like oh my god this is gonna take a long time but i was like that's yeah. okay <laughs> i want agent venom i'll do it i had a smile on my face i was gonna be logged in right but that's where we're at right now like okay yes we get the extra milestones and we get to spend an hour resetting the gambit raids. Oh, yeah. I would, I would argue maybe three hours, <laughs> especially if you don't have like rebirth or invaders up to gear, you know, cause it's 160 points for, for logging in and logging out is only 160 points for that raid battle. That takes a long time. If you're not getting these extra 1,900, oh, 600, Jesus. that stuff, you know, and from their POV, how is that different than us logging in and simming a raid rotation? You know, right. it's engagement. It's dead time spent in the game. 
Right. You know? and, and, but we were happy about it because we yeah, finally yeah. got to get to the end. We were literally celebrating their mistake. We exactly. were happy. People uh, before they even like gave out the the energy, it was looking like with some moderate core spending, you could get this piece yeah. right here, this chrysalis orb fragment piece. You know, we were pretty excited. Then they gave us all the shards and we're like, sweet. Everybody can get here. We all get to have a good time. It and and to the people my, yeah. to to the people that are saying it was supposed to be whale stones in the first place. Oh. I agree that like in general terms, like getting to milestone 30 was going to be uh, a task that was going to be difficult, right? Like we can all agree on that. Right. But they screwed up. Like they were the ones that made it to where a lot of people got extra rate energy. I had a thousand energy mm -hmm. before they sent out the 5,555. And then they sat on it for, for the night and then came back the next day. Came back on a day. Saturday. Now we're putting a limit on it. Came back on a Saturday to limit us. They don't yeah. come back to work on the weekends. They don't nope. do that. They well, came no, back they, to screw they us. Would, they would if it was something that... It, they wouldn't us. if it was something that benefited was detrimental. Us. Can you imagine if something screwed up with the gamma rays where you couldn't launch them? Do you think they would fix that on no. Saturday? No. no. Nope. They so would. They would Pat comp us on the other on Monday. That's it. What you said about thirty being a whale stone, probably. Yeah, probably. But twenty nine. The costumes have all like the anniversary costumes have been free to play so right. far. I I can't imagine. Putting out a costume for your own original character that exists only in this one app, literally. Which they advertised in their celebration along with the medic yeah. costume. No, I, yeah, I agree. Like, there's no way that Milestone 29 was intended to be a whale stone. Like, this was supposed to be well, free to play. And again, I'm, I'm going off of Juicy's math here. Uh, it, it did look like you had to be of the strictest mentality to achieve 29 to get to get here to to 29 you had to be extremely strict with how you played and probably have hoarded a few cores and you could get this costume but it was free to play without having to spend thousands and thousands of extra cores now to get to this same thing it's an extra i think he said 7100 cores to to do this now I do also love that they put Agent Venom at the end, like just to just another like, you know, stick it to him like, hey, here's a character uh, we released that really sucked on lock. You're not going to get more. <laughs> right. Right. Suck Why not swap it with yeah. Peggy? Right. Help relieve some of that pressure because so many people didn't unlock Agent Venom. You could have moved him up a little bit further and given him a second chance to, to get to him. Those people that weren't engaged enough the first time around, they could have pushed real hard for him or something. It just seems like a mess because had they launched the raids correctly, this would have been a pretty decent event overall. You know, we wouldn't have got what we wanted to. Uh, hold on a second. Sorry. Who is that? Hedgehog resubscribed with Prime. Thank you, Hedgehog. You're freaking amazing. It would have been a pretty decent event overall. Then they accidentally released all that energy. And even had they not done anything at that point, there were people who were saying, I, I didn't get the energy, but I could have cored in the raids and it would have given me 210 points instead of 160 points. And I would have been able to propel myself further. But now you have this limit here that keeps me from doing from going any further than that. I am simply just going to have to spend cores to get further. So, you know, what they should have done if they wanted to, to fix their screw up, they should have gifted out all that energy to everybody, but then put a 32,000 point limit. I think it's a 32,000 point limit, but a, or a 34,000 point limit instead of this 24,000 point limit that would have given this the extra 10,000 points and would have put us back at 29 and somewhat negated it. But honestly, they should have just given us the energy and let us take the win for once. Like, uh, I mean, like Gakko and, and chat, I don't expect them to give every uh event and especially at the very end for free to play people i don't have that expectation the expectation i have is that when they screw up they don't make the event worse than it was that's before. It. exactly that's the problem i have exactly you made the event worse 
Like it got worse. I'm not bitching because problem. I don't get free stuff. I'm bitching That's because you made it worse. It's it's thirty four thousand. If they wanted to make it even and fix this mistake, and they didn't, they drew it back even further. And don't go to a restaurant and get the wrong thing and expect them to come back with something that's worse than what I ordered before. Yeah, I, I ordered the steak, not, not the shrimp, and they come back with a baked exactly. potato, and you're like, what are you talking about? This is crap. And Jocko, you're listening to two of the people that have been saying, stop feeling entitled to every milestone. Uh, you don't need to get everything. Some of these events are for whales. Like Pathfinder and I have been very of the mentality that some events and some milestones are just optional or just for whales. But this time it's we're losing out on milestones because of their stupid mistake. Yeah. And it, it feels bad. What, what was really sad from coming from their perspective, looking at it from their perspective is that they had a huge win with this mistake they immediately compensated us in a generous way, and we were all super happy. We were all literally celebrating that. We finally had a celebration event that we were happy about. It took a mistake, but the way they handled it made us all feel good. And then, and then to cap it would have just felt bad, but to cap it even further back, then it really <laughs> felt bad. So that sucks. So, yeah, it's it's just um, it's just a, it's just an unco it's a shitty situation. But you know what? I'm so used to this company. It, it doesn't really surprise me. It doesn't really surprise me at all. They are not changing. They're not making any course corrections. They're not going to roll this back or fix anything. It's just not going to happen. And this is the game we play. And so I got to remember that it's a virtual game. This doesn't affect me in real life. <clears throat> I probably, knowing me and the way I play, I probably wasn't going to make 29 anyways had this been put out correctly, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I just feel bad for all those people that got real excited after doing the math, after looking at the spreadsheets and said, I'm going to push real hard for Milestone 29. I'm going to spend a few extra cores to make sure I get there. And then they had this thing roll back, and they're going to have trouble getting to 28. I feel bad for those people, but that's the way it goes. Um, what do you say, if, if you guys don't have anything too much to, to add to that, what do you say we get to this defense up real quick? Yeah. All right, YouTube, we're back after recording that video. I have Pathfinder. Uh, Shane West is still here talking with us and Zero Cool Gamer on the line. And we're just going to kind of dick around playing some Marvel Strike Force here because I have all my dailies done ahead of time. It's Monday, and I was really frustrated with Marvel Strike Force, so I kind of got things done early. What do you guys think of my defense? Look at this. I got YA in here. I got Infinity Watch. I got this hot mess, which gets me lots of DVs. I'm running um, them in four. I got the super duper defense here in five. And then, of course, my wacky war dogs going in here in six. Now, I went three and oh last last time. Three and oh, baby. It was amazing. What league nice. are you in, Ron? Uh, it's Balsa Wood. Ooh. Yeah, Balsa Wood League. Oh no, I don't know. I think I'm in Diamond Two. I think I'm in Diamond Two. I okay. I bounced drastically. I got into Masters once, and then they was said, "Nah, -uh, Run Seven, you're not allowed here." And they hit me so hard, I dropped down to Dirt League and fought my way back up to Diamond Two again. So I'm all over the place. You did yeah, get a lot of wins. Yes, yeah, Jumpy, you did a mini, a mini, uh, a mini sessy bomb there, didn't you? What was that? What was that, Shane? You do get a lot of wins from that Hydra world. Yes, actually, this d did better than Room Five did for me this last round. Actually, I don't know what it is. I think people don't quite understand. Uh, they see the seven hundred, and they kind of they come in with something, but it's not quite big enough. And Taskmaster just lights them up. I don't know what that's all about, but I, uh, in fact, the last time, uh, they didn't even clear it. It was amazing. They saved it for last and they just didn't have what they needed to clear it. Interesting. Cause I tried running that and got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, and you never know what it's going to do. And my, my thing is wherever you're at in whatever league, if it's working, don't change it. If it starts to fail a lot, get it out of there. You know, because yeah. you'll find yourself move up into a league or something and you'll find a group of people that they're kind of used to running certain things or whatever. When you get towards the end of a, of a crucible cycle, 
So it's just my theory is that, you know, if it works, use it. If it doesn't work a couple of times in a row, get it the hell out of there. You're not getting the triple tap with Taskmaster as a raider. That's right, Papa Woody. I know that. I understand. But what's happening, I think, is that he's critting on his opening move and deleting teams that come into this room. So like I said, if it works, I ain't change it. I want to change him back to a striker, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave it as is. Plus, I only got one person putting out vulnerables on his team. Everybody else is, you know, in that got that shield going for him, so. I've got a tiny red skull, too. I could try running that. But he just has to take a turn. Works. That's it. And if you have Zemo in there, he's getting that speed on spawn. Then he takes a turn, makes everybody go faster. Plus, you've got the uh, the, the the minions taunting and stuff. So it just seems to work okay. Yeah, I recently worked on my Underworld just because it's a, it's a, it's a cool team, at least the core three, Kingpin, uh, Mr. Negative, and Taskmaster. I really like those three characters, the way they interact. Yeah, yeah. Papa Woody, they're using. I've had Death Seed lose to it. I've had, um, I've had Infinity Watch lose to it. It's pretty what? amazing. Yeah, I've had Infinity Watch lose to it on a punch cross. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know oh, why shit. they should be able to tank that opener like no problem. <laughs> yeah. So I'm pretty sure that, that was a player who didn't understand lines. what to do. You know. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do some doom rates. I don't really have a lot to do, guys, so I don't know I don't know what we're gonna what we're gonna do here on stream. We could sing and hold hands. I was gonna say Pathfinder could sing to us again. Yeah, Serenatus Pathfinder. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll take any requests. I might have to look up a song. There you go, chat. You can give him a request and he'll serenade you. <laughs> Um, Pathfinder, are you going to play Sons of the Forest with me tomorrow, or are you busy? Uh, I think I can. Okay. Um, doesn't matter if you can't, you can't. I know Cleaning Agent is traveling, so he won't be doing anything. And Cleaning Agent and me, we had a big push and got a ton of goodies the last time. Uh, really made some headway in that game on our, on our, uh, multiplayer accounts. I so. mean, Jumpy Bon Jovi is a band, like... Do you just want me to pick a song? I'm like, is there a certain song you want me to sing from them? Living on I'm a prayer. filming a that show here. Look at this. For this is going smashing. Like, come on, Jubilee, die already. Can I just tell you, Run, that you have some of the best uh, channel redeems ever. Well, thank you. You can always <laughs> compliment me. That's that's you can always do that. That's fine with I, me. <laughs> I love them. the Wakanda thing from Path and Purple Sticky kills yeah. me every time. Well, uh, Cool's got some good ones too. ZKG is kind of the master of memes in Marvel Strike Force. And is this gonna land? I really hope this lands. I, I want her to go away. Um, so you should check out I, some of his I'm streams starting. because he has tons of stuff. I just, I, I watch everybody in Marvel Strike Force. And so, you know, I, he's not going to get stunned. Maybe I can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I watch everybody in Marvel Strike Force. So I try to clip as much of their stuff as I can too. Not just my own stuff. <sighs> what are we listening to? Living on a prayer. Oh, living on a prayer. Let's start. <laughs> Tommy used to work on the docks. <laughs> Union's been on strike. He's down on his luck. It's tough. So tough. Oh, dear God. Gina works the diner all day. <laughs> Working for a man. She brings home her pay for love. For love, we gotta hold on. There you go, Rolf Karen. We've got it, doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other, and that's a lot for love. Give it a shot. Whoa, Whoa. we're halfway there. Whoa, Live on a prayer take my hand we'll make it i swear whoa living on a prayer 
All right. I choked on a Dorito. (laughs) (laughs) That was zero cool. Choked on a Dorito. (laughs) You're welcome. That was fantastic. Thank you, Pathfinder Gaming. (laughs) Probably the best song I'll hear all day. Rolf Karen, I should have got you a uh, an 80s hairband wig. I should have had that one ready. I didn't know we were going to be doing a uh, a whole ensemble here today on stream. <clears throat> I don't know why. We've got 60%. I need to stop spending my raid energy and just wait for them to relaunch raids. Because Oh, they did relaunch raids. 18 hours. How are we at 60%? Wow, we got there fast. You guys are moving. Holy crap. Oh, it's Monday. Today's our raid push day. Whoops, I guess I better not quit early. <laughs> that's why That's why we're there so early. Today's our push day. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to do an arena tag, and I think I'm going to call it quits, guys, because I just I don't have anything to do on Marvel Strike Force today. I don't want to keep bitching about limits and stuff like that. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy the day. Yeah. Is uh, Who else is streaming right now? Anybody? I think Pathfinder just bowed out. He's probably going to go stream. He sure did. He's yeah. probably going to go get something to help his throat. <laughs> After hitting those high notes. Okay, <laughs> let's see about not hitting Apocalypse and see what happens if we do this. I never understand the speed mechanics of this matchup. It's kind of weird. Let's do this over here and see if we can get the ability block. That's fantastic. I like that. And then- you literally just don't want to hit Red Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, right? I'm going to hit everybody hit with this Hulk, one. Which, yeah, you hit everybody with that one, but the rest of them just don't hit Red Hulk. And Tink. Now Red Hulk's going to hit you, and then hopefully... Hopefully, yeah, trigger everything. And yours is going <laughs> to take a few more hits. You know what, Astrides and MSF, uh, I am enjoying other games, and I know a lot of the content creators are really looking forward. Is this going to stick? Should I stun him? I don't remember if it sticks or if he clears it and then Doug goes anyway. It might, it might not. Yeah, it's it, he might resist it's it. Iffy. Well, I don't care about him resisting it. He got? Um, he's got a lot of charges, so I'm just going to go ahead and he's do it. To him. He's, it's going to stun him. I just didn't oh, know. God. I don't remember if, if he clears it for some reason or whatever. Um, there's a lot of people looking at that Lord of the Rings multiplayer game. And I kind of have a feeling if Scopely doesn't really get their act together, I think a lot of people might might get serious about playing that game. And I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm here. I'm a lifer. I'm going to keep playing Marvel Strike Force until there's no game to play. But I will look at that Lord of the Rings game. And if if they improve the graphics on that a little bit, I think that game could be a lot of fun. The graphics kind of look a little hokey, and I heard that the strategy isn't fleshed out, but that's how all Hero Collector games are. They don't build into it until they get, like, Marvel Strike Force was really bland when it first came out. It didn't have a lot of depth to it. Um, We want to go here with this, and we can just hit auto, so who knows. All right. Here you go. That's a win. It's still weird that they give him the revive once icon, even though he's (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> they didn't come in on a Saturday to fix that, did they? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let's find somebody to raid. <clears throat> um, I'm way I'm so, I was so far behind when, you know, starting stream today. I don't have any of my special windows opened up or anything. Let's see, we have Canda Hat streaming. Let's go there. That's all we got. Canda Hat. So that's where we're going. Just want to uh, thank you guys in the voice channel for hanging out with me on voice. I always appreciate that. And uh, of course, everybody in chat. Always wonderful for you guys to show up. Pat and uh, Pat. Yeah, thanks for inviting me on. Thanks for reviewing my defense. Yeah, it was a good one. Solid, solid defense. Lots of points there. Okay, the raid has been launched. Have fun over at Cat into Hats. I have a ton of videos that I still need to edit, and I'm pretty damn tired from staying up so late at doing all the editing I did last night. Uh, take care, guys. Have fun. Don't worry so much about Marvel Strike Force. It doesn't ever change. It doesn't really get all that much worse. They just find new ways to get us to complain about things. And if you do want something fun and interesting, check out the recap. I pointed out a lot of different stuff that all your favorite content creators are still doing. You can go there and check them out. 
uh, whether you want that or not. I will not be here Wednesday. I am not streaming on Wednesday, but I will be here tomorrow playing Sons of the Forest, so you can catch me tomorrow, but just not Wednesday. I will be taking a day off for some other uh, personal stuff. So I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Bye.